Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give our honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rokakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing the true doctrine across the four winds of the earth and all truth and sincerity. I'm Lamar Ariyah from the Mississippi Count. Lord willing to be edifying lesson. And it's just going to be a, you know, GMS quick hit through the spirit. Just going into um, how, you know, we got to be in it to win it. We got to be in this thing to win this thing. I mean, we have to continue to push, endure, pray fast, be brotherly, get counsel, and, and just stay rooted in the spirit, okay? Walk in the spirit, obey the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, and just keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing through all the endurance, the afflictions, the chastening, and or whatever obstacle that's in front of us, man, because through the spirit of Hashem Yahushua, from the teachings of our apostles and elders on down, hey, we know the Lord got us, man. But we just have to endure. So I'm going to go on and get into it. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, starting at verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And what we're doing through the Spirit of Yahweh, we're witnessing these things, okay? We're witnessing these things. We're preaching about them. We're teaching about them. We're bringing forth prophecy. We're warning the people. We're sounding our trumpet, okay? We're, we're, we're letting it be known that the Lord is doing a mighty works. He's stirring up the minds of these uh, uh, leaders in these other countries, all right? He, he's he's causing nature to fight back with earthquakes, uh, 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 hailstorms, tornadoes, wildfires, okay? He's bringing pestilence where, you know, you having uh, different uh, uh, diseases, you know, people having different sicknesses, you know, that, that train derailments with the chemicals, causing you no know, more pollution in the air because there are already chemtrails throughout the uh, uh, air. You know, you got the famines, food shortages, uh, increasing food prices where people can't eat or purchase necessities for their families as they used to. You know, there had to be a, a more of a budgeting system put in place, but that's not going to be work eventually because all these things are coming off. Okay. There's not going to be no uh, uh, food available. Okay. You know, when the economy collapse, you know, the government is going to step in and there's going to be a rationing of food. But that rationing is going to come along with, you know, possibly at that particular moment, but it's going to happen anyway. But the the implementation of the karagma, okay, you're going to have to agree to take that, that, that sea hill just to get those rationings, okay? Just to be able to function in what you would call a, a normal society, okay? But the Lord has sent forth his prophets, as he always does, as it's written before the fall of every great uh, kingdom, because America is a great kingdom, and the Lord has sent forth his prophets to prophesy the downfall of this place, to prophesy the return of Yahweh Shai, to prophesy all these uh, pestilences, these famines, the earthquakes, and, you know, and the scriptures go into that there's going to be, uh, you know, uh, uh, pestilence that's uh, are not even written in the book, man. And we see that. You don't see AIDS in the book, okay? You don't see cancer uh, throughout the scriptures, all right? Flesh-eating diseases, you don't see that throughout the scriptures. And many more, okay? And we're warning the people, man, through the Spirit of Yahweh, by, Shimei, Abishai, by way of videos, right? Going on the highways and byways. You know, and all in the same, hey, brothers, we're going through what we're going through. Brothers is catching hell, man. But it's, it's all through the spirit. And we know the Lord, what he said, he's chastening those he loves. And he's not going to put more on us than we can bear. And then we have the brotherhood, you know what I'm saying, to uh, uh, lean on for support, spiritual support, counsel. So we just have to keep pushing and keep enduring, man, and just stay rooted in his truth. Pray, 
Apostle Ricard always going to pray and pray and pray. And the scripture said, pray without ceasing. Get the Lord's ear, no rest. You know? And that's what we got to do. Keep complaining. Keep uh, whining. Keep uh, uh, just having temper tantrum through the spirit, if you will, to the uh, Yahweh Bashimi al that they would, uh, that the Lord, the Most High, would speed this thing up even more. Okay? But the whole thing is that we got to endure through it all and still do the work until the Lord uh, brings forth that family of the word. But the things that we're seeing and these things that are happening are all prophetic, man. That's, it's all prophecy. And these are the beginning of sorrows for the people of the world, right? Because we're, we're, we're taking it cheerfully. We're rejoicing in all these things that happen because what? We know we're a day closer to the kingdom of heaven. We're a day closer to the return of Yahweh Shai. We're a day closer to this uh, uh, devil's uh, uh, rule and kingdom being brought to a desolate uh, 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 end, okay? Verse 9, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And we already know it, man. The Lord is giving us the heads up that for us, you know, believing in his word, believing in him and the heavenly father, Okay, for us uh, uh, preaching against this uh, this wicked kingdom, preaching the return of Yahweh Shai, the downfall of this wicked kingdom. Okay, and it's all done in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hey, they're going to uh, demonize us eventually. You know, it has happened on a small scale, but it's going to be eventually a, a demonization of Israelites on, the, on all the news broadcasts, radio broadcasts, uh, these small podcast or whatever and and, and they're going to be manipulating and and changing up our words our speech you know our behavior because they have the the uh, uh technology to to do those things okay to to do that witchcraft to change up what a brother's saying okay what a brother is doing to make it look like we're just this 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 hate group this violent group when the only thing we do is go on the highways and byways and preach out the Bible. We're not lifting arms. We're not uh, 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 causing bodily harm to anyone. We're just cutting them through the spirit by way of what? The scriptures. But because of the wickedness and the deceitful ways of this devil, he's going to paint this narrative, paint this picture, as he always have done, and that's going to give him a, a, a so-called... Uh, reason to come down on uh on israelites man especially the lord's prophets right so some are going to be taken in front of these elites you know the rulers of this world in their courts and gonna be uh uh prosecuted okay that persecution but we know it's gonna happen why because the lord has it written documented telling us and by way of the lord telling us through the spirit through by way of the scriptures we're warning the people about these things that's going to come because it's going to hit two-thirds of Israel as well as the other nations, man. All right? Verse 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And we see that throughout the nation of Israel, man. These, these false prophets, you know, adding and taking away from the scriptures, you know, uh, 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 not respecting or honoring the names of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, calling them everything but, okay? You know, not 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 speaking on prophecy. I always want to just rant and chant about, you know, a group they don't like, but never bringing out prophecy, okay? These are false prophets, man, because they, are, they do not have the, 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 the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai in their forefront, in their minds, okay? That's not nothing they're willing to or trying to just execute as far as being the will of Yahweh Hashem Shai. They're, they're seeking their own vain glory. They want to put themselves on this particular pedestal, you know? But but that's a lot of blood going to be on their hands because the Lord said what? Speak to my people, man, the nation of Israel, okay? The words of prophecy, all right? Not to try to uplift your own self. Because the scripture says, when a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he de deceiveth himself. All right? We're all counted as filthy rags, man. All right? 
So we're just pushing and trying to endure to the end that the Lord may find us worthy, man, to be in his good grace, his uh, mercy, man. In Aparathiza, we're the hopeful elect that we would be of that uh, uh, number, man, 144,000 men of the nation of Israel. Okay? Verse, verse 12, and because the iniquity... Be and because the iniquity shall abound and the love of many shall wax cold, but he that endured to the end, the same shall be saved. And that's another thing, man. We got Jacob's trouble coming, man. Jacob's trouble is already in the midst of a, a brewing, okay? It's already uh, uh, slowly escalating day by day, week by week. And it's going to come a point, man, when this co economy collapses and people don't have access to their monies because these banks are going to just... You know, lock their doors, basically, man. Shut down. The systems are going to be shut down. And, and we already know that these banks, man, pretty much your money is just a, a, a key in of digital uh, 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 numbers, man. You know, they can type in whatever number they want, just just hypothetically. You know, so if you deposit $100, they just type in $100, man. So your money really is just, you know, a, a, a number but when they clear that keyboard or the elites uh give out that decree to shut down all the banking systems then your money is 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 nothing it's like a figment of your imagination you you think you got it but you don't and when that happens man people are gonna go bonkers all right people are gonna lose it people are gonna goddamn it get get uh uh completely into that beast like mentality and it's gonna be every man for himself people are gonna be going ape shit if you will okay and if you don't have that that, that protection the heads of your how about send me outside that covering are you just gonna be out there for the wolves okay verse 13 again but he that shall endure to the end the same shall be saved and that's hey, that's that, and that's what we pushing for, man. That's why we in it to win it through all the things that's gonna be happening going on. We're gonna do the will of Yahweh Shemi Yahshua to the best of our ability, man. That we shall be saved. All right. Verse fourteen. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this gospel has gone across the four winds of the world, man. Okay, across uh, across the four winds of the earth. Okay, so that scripture right there alone lets you know that we're at the latter end of this thing, man. There are Israelite camps, especially as far as Great Millstone, across the four winds of the earth, man. Okay, this word has gone out. The unicorn, the internet, all right? And you have other camps, man, that have groups scattered out, okay? Not just here in, in uh, Babylon, America. So... The Lord's word has, has went out throughout the four winds of the earth, man. So the end is not, okay? And that's what we're warning the people about. That's what we're telling the people about. And that's what we're preparing for, okay? Because the scripture says what? It'll be a time like never before since there was a nation, man. So bad, okay, that uh, Michael the archangel is going to have to intervene, okay? It's going to be worse than you can imagine. Okay, get uh, let's go into the see what we got. We're gonna go into the book of um, Second Ezra and uh, close it out from this because, like we say, we 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 in it to win it, and to win it is to receive victory, right? All right, so we're gonna get into Second Ezra chapter 2, starting at verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised. The Most High, Yahweh Bashimi Yahushua, was song. And who was that people? The Lord's elect, okay? 144,000 men, 12,000 from each tribe of the nation of Israel, right? Okay, verse 43. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. And that man is Yahweh Shai, okay? that has a, a higher stature, okay, looking like a young man, 
Okay. Verse 44. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah. Now are they crowned and received palms. And, hey, and who's who's confessing the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushah? The Lord's elect, okay? Start here, great millstone, man. Because we push the names Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Okay? Other groups are not doing it like that. I'm not, not saying every group, because you have, you know, a groups, men of Valor, you know, who follow uh, uh, the teachings of our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And you have other groups, okay, who do preach the name Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But you have some groups who do everything but, you know, Christ, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But they're not using the names, okay? So the Lord's elect primarily, okay, speaking of the different groups, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's, it's the Lord's elect who's going to be amongst Yahweh Shai giving crown or being crowned and receiving palms, okay? Those men who truly believe in Yahweh Shai and doing the work of Yahweh Shai, all right? And to receive those palms, what? That palm is victory, meaning that, hey, the brothers of us who received these palms, Abarathaza, we the men, those men, we was in it to win it. And this is the win. Okay? This is this is the championship. This is when we receive the the uh 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 the trophy, which is our crowns, man, for for staying in the game, not giving up, continuing to push in the name of Yahweh Shah. Verse 46. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? That's Yahweh Shai. That's Yahweh Shai. Okay? Simply put, that's it. Verse 47. So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of the Most High. Who is the Son of the Most High? Yahweh Shai. Who whom they have confessed in the world. We confess, man. Yahweh Shai, okay, the Heavenly Father and the Son, okay, is our power, okay? We confess that. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. And, and you cannot make us deviate or 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 denounce the name of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? We're not finna uh uh be calling out on no other names, okay? Because th those names are our strong tower. Okay. And we're in this thing to win this thing. And Abaratazala's brothers who are doing this work in truth and in sincerity. You know, uplifting the name Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, condemning this 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 wicked world that's under this wicked rulership. You know, proclaiming the name Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, and letting the world know that Yahweh Shai is coming back to set up a righteous kingdom and, and take down and destroy the infrastructure of this wicked kingdom. Hey, that we're all those men. Okay? So, hey, brother, stay in it to win it. Keep pushing, keep fighting. We almost out of here. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom.